Hi, hello, welcome back to my workshop. You remember last time on my first uh, extremely long video uh, when I did try to put a little bit solder on that uh, BMS. Uh, the wire just disintegrated, it looks like it has been melted down. Uh, today we are back in the shop and we will uh, try to recreate the same stuff. Uh, I have been using that um, soldering pot for a long long time and uh, it never happened so far. Um, the only reason I can imagine uh, what might happen is that I allowed that solder to be too hot. Um, I did try to melt it down uh, quickly and I set the temperature to 450 degrees and then uh, suddenly I just uh, dumped uh, this wire, gauge 10 wire, uh, into the molten um, solder and what happens is this right that wire just vanished got exactly the same wire it is from the same manufacturer this is from the manufacturer of those uh, BMSs is a uh, gauge 10 uh, wire not sure that this will be visible Focus. Uh, maybe not. Uh, but believe me, that's gauge 10, and I've got gauge uh, 12 as well, and um, slightly um, smaller wire. Uh, this might be visible here. Where is my focus? Yes, uh, if you will look on those strands, they are extremely fine strands. Uh, all of them are uh, the same. You can see them here probably. Uh, my guess is that when uh, uh, we dump that wire into the over heated uh, solder the solder just dissolve copper uh, and we are about to test that today we will start from uh, the same wire which we did have that accident last time this is gauge 10 wire a multi strand good quality is uh, it is really good quality uh, wire and um, should be 99.9 percent .9 uh, uh, of uh, copper is tint uh, what we will do we will do exactly what we've done uh, before I will cover that one with flux uh, the same flux I have been using last time. It's quite a lot of it. Uh, maybe we will just take a little bit off because that will be that will create a lot of smoke. Uh, let's try those two um, strands first. There is our pot. Is you can see that that is uh, the solder is oxidated. We'll dump those two, and there you are. They are gone. They have been just melted. Then this is what it is. I will just dump whole lot there. Oh, 
right a lot of, and you can see the copper doesn't exist anymore let me try to do one of the wires without any flux that's the wire without flux we will just dump it in and nothing is happening because oh yes you can see that some of the strands just came off let's put it longer keep it longer in the pot and yes the wires are just it looks like they are just disintegrating I will use a little bit more flux on uh, this bit flux will allow I will just turn the temperature now down because uh, I don't want to lose all that uh, solder and uh, as you can see uh, oxidation is quite significant a lot of stuff now we will dump this one how long is it it's that long and we are dumping it in Whoa. and we got that much okay we can switch this one off now I have been looking in for anything uh, there but it looks like uh, nothing stays uh, nothing is uh, is inside on the bottom of that um, pot that means it is not only uh, disintegrating and failing there is just uh, dissolving it looks like the solder is dissolving copper uh, what I will try to do in the minute I will grab um, a little bit thicker wire and we will try the same with much thicker wire I'll be back in a minute I'm just back with uh, this four millimeter square uh, wire as you can see the strands here are much more much much thicker we will flux them up a little bit and I will just dump them to that pot uh, the length is like that and off we go ouch that was hot look they are dissolving can you see that the strands are let me just switch that off that is the proof that the copper can be dissolved in thin let me just make a little bit of more sorry for shaking camera but uh, that is this piece of wire I will cut it in half and look look what happens they are our strands and now compare them to what's left here right the copper is dissolved in thin 
in solder. Let's put this one. I switched the uh, uh, power off. But let's put that one in there. Let's use a little bit of flux. Great. Fantastic. Look at that, guys. Yes, I know my light. Let's go against the black surface. <coughs> Can you see this? I will put some pictures uh, as well uh, into the video. And there is our conclusion. Uh, the reason why uh, that piece of um, wire uh, just vanished inside the tin pot was because of too high temperature of the solder and the fact that the copper has been dissolved by solder is like you know like putting um, ice cube into warm water is just uh, vanishing exactly the same is happening here right and we can probably check the thickness of that uh, if I will find the caliper obviously I'll be back in the minute with the caliper okay I'm back uh, armed with a trusty caliper and we will be measuring the thickness of uh, that copper strands uh, in places where they hasn't been put into the solder and then on the tip. Right, what we have in here? 0 0.87 millimeters and on the very end of it zero point three eight right This one is slightly thicker. Three nine eight seven. Right. Um, they are like needles. If you will look on this particular one, is there any focus? Focus. Focus. Where is my focus? Let's do this against maybe green. Yes, it's better. As you can see, uh, those copper strands looks like spears at the moment. Right, um, a little bit of um, physics or chemistry physics. Melting point of copper, 1,084 centigrees. That is 1,983 Fahrenheit. Melting temperature of 
solder about 232 degrees which is about 449 Fahrenheit. This copper hasn't been melted by the heat because our pot, the maximum temperature we can have there is something like 450 degrees. Then it's well below the melting point of copper. That copper has been dissolved by solder. Solder is dissolving copper and that is the proof. If you have been using uh, the old type transformer soldering iron, you might notice that the soldering tips have been made usually from copper, uh, copper wire and you have to replace them very very often and the reason why is because of that the solder is dissolving copper that's end of the story that is explanation why this happens and the reason why it happens um, first time in my case is because the temperature of the solder was much much greater than usually usually I'm keeping that one below 300 degrees and this time it was 150 degrees more that's my explanation if you got a different point of view if you think that I'm wrong Please leave the comments uh, in the comment section and we can um, discuss this one. Maybe you know more. I'm not the expert. As I said, I was uh, confused. I didn't know what happened and I decided to check and I did check. Thick wires. Thin wires, that one look awful now. All that discoloration because of the temperature. And yes. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.